Hi there, and thank you for your interest in the Clockwork Aquarium. My name is Mark Smiley, and I designed this little model. The inspiration came when my family and I were out at a nearby aquarium, and we were going through one of those little tube tunnels with the fish swimming over us, and my wife hollered out, you should consider making an aquarium as your next project. And uh, I thought about it very quickly, and I said, well, if I make an aquarium, it's going to have to have moving parts. And, uh, and I ended up deciding that an oval would be the most robust pathway, but also um, very interesting for such a small little desktop sized set. So with this very uh, robust mechanism on the inside drives the fish about. And there's obviously some small gearing over here, there's a little bit of a gearbox, and inside this cabinet there's some storage for uh, little fish foods and other things that you might want to store in there. And while this is the main feature, having these fish swim about, I didn't want it to just have swimming fish. I wanted it to have more features. I wanted more things to move. So I uh, embedded a little kind of a can slat, I call it maybe like a piston type effect here in the center. When you turn the crank, it lifts and lowers a pin that is inside this center island. And, uh, and right now I have a crab sitting on that. So the crab can go up and down. And then uh, as the fish swim by, they kind of hit its little claws that it has reached out and, and it sort of lurches about as it's following the fish in their circular or their oval pattern. So part of its movement is directly driven and part of its movement is passive, which I found to be kind of a serendipitous nice feature of this design. So the aquarium itself is uh, very stately, I feel. It has a nice topper which is modular and that pops right off. I want to be able to get inside the aquarium easily. I want to be able to modify the, uh, the theme or the backgrounds or get in there. Let's say a, a piece falls off and I want to be able to get in there so I could uh, quickly get uh, easy access. So we made it modular and uh, so that the topper pops off, then the, uh, the whole aquarium tank pops off. Uh, and then there's the backdrop. Now the backdrop, I wanted to be kind of a, like a card. It pops off, it's very modular, and that way you can quickly swap it out with some other backdrop. For instance, my uh, more coral themed backdrop. And now that we're at this point, let's talk about some of the other themes that are included. Uh, there is the sunken pirate theme, which you can see here. What I like about this theme is obviously the interior, it's set in the interior of a sunken pirate ship, which has a nice din to it, uh, lots of wood colors. And then as one of the passive moving functions, not something directly driven by the mechanism, I've got a steering wheel, uh, maybe a leftover or second steering wheel that the captain was fond of and he put in his quarters. And uh, that steering wheel actually spins and rotates as the fish swim by. And then in the center, since this is an aquarium, you are going to want to see at some point a treasure box opening and closing its top. The next theme is the Battle of the Kraken, and I have to say that I have never been more proud of a tiny little micro Kraken build. This little guy is, uh, I think he's quite spectacular. Four big tentacles coming out. Now, of course, we're in micro scale, so this is a very large, very large Kraken. And, uh, and there is a boat that's floats by. This has now taken the place of the fish. So we have a boat, and as you can see from that video, the aquarium's glass has been lifted by a small amount with these little clear blue glass pieces. And that gives you the ability to have kind of a below water and above water uh, component to the, to, the design, to the theme. Well now that we've finished reviewing the themes, I'd like to give you some pointers if you should uh, build one of these yourself. Uh, and you want to make some modifications, there are a couple things to make note of. For instance, the height of the fish. Um, in this particular setup, the backdrop actually has parts that stick out underneath the fish. So you're going to want to make sure that your fish are high enough to clear the, uh, the highest point of your backdrop's uh, protruding elements. You can make your backdrop actually recede a little bit, and that will give you more space. Um, and that's how this one's designed, actually. So it actually is thicker, because it recedes back more. Something that you really want to make note of is uh, these glass components actually are, uh, you know, they're flat on one side and on the inside it's kind of scooped out. On these outer two glass panels, I have it so that the flush surface is out here, but on the front facing panels, I actually have it so the flush surface is on the inside. And that leaves the recess on the front. And uh, when you're looking at it, you would never know the difference, but there's a really deliberate reason for this, and that is, if you have it the other way around, 
as the fish swim by, they will go into that recess and then they will get caught by the center beam. So you're going to want to make sure that your center beam is on the outside of the aquarium. And there you have it. We've got the fully built clockwork aquarium. And uh, I definitely appreciate you stopping by and checking this out, learning a little bit more about the process, learning a little bit more about the design, and uh, seeing some of the little nooks and crannies that uh, you might not normally find on, on a box. So uh, uh, you have a great time, and take care, and uh, hopefully one day you'll build yourself a clock of aquarium, and uh, you can proudly display it on your desk, and uh, to the delight of anybody that walks by. Well, thank you greatly, and take care.